I don't know why they thought it was a good idea, why this field, just what made them think that tearing up a field like this was a good idea. A high school practice field destroyed by vandals, and tonight police are looking for those responsible. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman live tonight in Apex. And Bridget, what happened out there? Yeah, Marius, it was one of their practice fields that got damaged, and school officials say it could be up to a year before they get it fixed back to normal. And tonight, people in the community are just asking, why would someone do this? School sports play a big role in many students' lives. It's the highlight of my high school experience, like getting to play on that field on Friday nights and be with all the guys and stuff. It was an amazing experience. Max Bertoncino graduated from Apex Friendship High this year. He played quarterback for the football team. I mean, it really was a family just because I could count everybody on the football team. So when he found out someone caused this damage to their practice field. I was honestly heartbroken because I I just don't understand why. School officials say someone in a light colored dually truck flying two flags tore up the field. It happened Friday just before midnight. You can see the tire marks trailing from the parking lot to the grass. The school's football team, lacrosse team, and band all use this space. With COVID-19, they were slated to be back on it in February. They've been itching and working hard to get out here for whatever season they can get. And showing this is another like setback in that process of getting back has got to be heartbreaking for them. Adding, it's taken years to get the field into the shape it was in. Now the school says it could take a year to fix. But Bert Encino says he knows that won't stop his former teammates. This team will be rolling no matter where it is. If you know anything, you're asked to contact the school. I'm told this incident was caught on surveillance video. I reached out to the Apex Police Department to see if they're looking into this as well. I'll let you know when I hear back. Live in Apex, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.